All right, right now we about to meet up with Jewel Tankard, uh, an investor that is very inspiring, man. She's a go getter. When I tell you she's a go getter, she 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 out there making it happen. So uh, we're about to meet up with her so we can check on uh, one of her investments that she have out here in the city of Ecourse. Uh, she actually just purchased this property and, and now she's actually made a good little flip. So, you know, what I mean by flip is when you buy it for a certain price and you sell it to make a profit. So yeah, so we're about to link up with her and uh, she's about to tell us what she got going on here in the city and what she's doing and with empowering women to become entrepreneurs and have your own money. You, got the garage you did good. This is a great pick. This is a really good pick. It's a clean house. Yeah, he take no time. All he has to do is call DTE to get his lights and stuff cut on, to get his water and stuff cut on. I love it. Yeah, so he already started like getting beautifying the home. And stuff. Yeah, he did. I see he cut the grass. I'm like, yes. Yes, yes. So. Tell me a little bit, like, how did you uh, get started into the real estate and, like, you know, empowering other women? I know you got something going on, what, it's called a million, million Millionaires club? club. Millionaires Club. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about the Millionaires Club. So it's like, club. like, Millionaires, because mm -hmm. it's for girls. Yeah. <laughs> Even though we're actually starting to get guys in, too. But I started it because my parents mm -hmm. are, like, the first African-Americans to have a business downtown Detroit. Mm -hmm. And I saw mom and dad, like, get their hustle mm -hmm. on and live this like really extravagant life with the Rolls Royces and the Mercedes. Man. And then we lost everything when I was 19. And I was blown away. But that's when I started learning it's a big difference between being like an entrepreneur, entrepreneur and an investor or a producer, manager and investor. So I really wanted to understand investing. So I started investing in real estate several years ago, like mm -hmm. buying tax liens. Like mm -hmm. I bought a tax lien downtown yeah. Atlanta for like $6,700. It was actually, I got it on a homeowner's association lien. Oh, okay. It was $6,700. Mm -hmm. And then I put it back on the market and sold it for like, I don't know, 50,000 or something like that. Mm -hmm. And so I started doing deals like that, got a deal going in DC. And then, but I was really wanting to come back home. Mm -hmm because you know even though i live in nashville i'm here all the time and so when i found out you were helping apostle wayne t jackson yeah and like he was so happy with what you're doing i was like well if it's working for him <laughs> apostle jackson um he's he's very hands-on with everything he does like as a ceo like he's out there in the fields like and he's communicating like it ain't no no Relate this message, relate this message, relate this message. No, he out there relating that message. We are headed to Curtis, uh, one of the properties that uh, that Apostle Jackson has. And uh, they doing a complete rehab. Well, not a complete rehab. They're doing some, uh, some touches up where they're going to do, a, you know, kind of make it like homeowner style where they can sell it to a homeowner. So they're fixing the things that homeowners desire such as uh, the countertops, bathrooms, tile, you know, so they're giving it an upgrade. So we're gonna take a look at the progress of what they got going on over here on Curtis. And uh, I'm supposed to be meeting uh, Apostle Jackson over there as well. So he be moving and shaking. So I gotta catch him because he's always making moves. He, he'll be at one location and he'll be at another location, just like that, like that. And I, even though that I only work like one auxiliary, uh, I'm gonna say two auxiliaries, in his businesses, like with the ministry and with uh, with Wayne's Property LLC, and to take care of some of his personal business. But for the main part, I deal with his his real estate properties. What's up, Clint? What's up to me? Oh yeah. <laughs> so we uh, they getting it in. They had that stucco up here at first. What was it called? Uh, yeah, they had stucco up here, and they took they took that out. They demoed that out. Now they go they just putting drywall. You know, homeowners like it. The flat, you know what I'm saying? What I love about it too, you see what they're doing? They're putting them can lights in here. This thing gonna be sweet. All right. All right. Making it, it happen. Making it happen. Changing Detroit. Yes, sir. One house and one block at a time. And he's very hands-on, man. When, when, when negotiating deals, uh, when, when getting stuff done, like putting some fire behind getting something done, like if, if that contract is not getting it done, and then you put, Apostle Jackson on the phone, it's gonna get done.
could see we put all new baseboards on the bottom uh, where the old baseboards had been painted over so many times, it had so much paint on it, uh, you, you wouldn't even recognize the baseboard. The windows here, uh, these window seals uh, were cracked. You had marble window crack, all these were cracked. We took up and put uh, now nice clean window seals in. Oh yes. Right, uh, uh, right here, you can see at the bottom of the, um, it was an old, some old, um, Towel here the, the, at the uh, fireplace. We put marble. This is marble. It's everything a little dusty now because we're not finished. But you can see the marble. That's a marble uh, fireplace. The uh, screens in, and where they can come back here and sit on their porch when they want to, you know, enjoy the weather and come out and have a have a time, you know, to get some fresh air. Uh, right here now, we don't have this back. We're ready to change and rip this back uh, door out. This is the old gate. Um, we got to put this door. We put other doors on uh, for the front and side. Now this here is going to be for the back. We're ready to finish that. I put a dishwasher in because I figured a lady, uh, they, she get off from work and instead of her having to go and wash the dishes, she could say, I already have a dishwasher. I can put my things in the dishwasher. Uh, we got a hood fan here. I'm getting my, uh, my people to take this fan out. We're going to put a microwave because sometimes people want yeah. to just come in and, and uh, just pop something in the microwave. Yeah. So we're going to take this hood fan out and put a microwave right there. I can't wait till you see uh, when we get it all finished. But this is just kind of showing you where we are. And as we go upstairs, now here are the doors that we put new doors all around the house. These are all new doors. And these are the stairs uh, to the upstairs. Up, up here, we have, um, we just painted the whole upstairs and we're finishing up the, uh, the touch-ups. It's already been painted once, but because of the workers being here and some of them walls had gotten a little stain, we're, we're finishing up the last of the paint. As you can see the floor right here, the floors, I had my floor man come out and we took these floors for dirty, these floors are black with dirt. Our floor man came out, he painted, I mean, he, uh, he did the floor, sanded the floors down to its natural flavor, natural color. Um, this is gonna be a wonderful bedroom for someone. You see, we got new garage, automatic garage door opener uh, here. Brand new air condition where they can have uh, central air and be able to, you know, come home and cut the air conditioner on and and, and just, you know, enjoy life. So like I said, you know, this is all about, it's about making the homeowner happy. It's not just all about profit. Yeah, we're business people, it takes money to do what we do, but we wanna make sure that, you know, the homeowner, when they come or she comes home, that this is home and it's gotta feel like home. And so we got a new, as you can see, a new electrical box. Yeah, we had electrician. Yeah, that's our, that's a yeah. new security light. Yes, that's Yeah, so, it, it, you know, we're doing it here. You know, Carrie, like we said, you know, we take them one house at a time and yes, sir. making things right for the neighborhood. And people talk all negative things about Detroit, but Detroit <laughs> is coming back. Coming and back. Detroit got some good ministries and good people that's really going out the four walls of their sanctuary. Mm -hmm.